PCR methods for site directed mutagenesis. While this basic technique was uh, developed, then it was uh, realized that uh, during DNA amplification, small mismatches or altered bases, it can, they can also be incorporated uh, into the amplified DNA fragment or uh, basic uh, PCR protocol ki tara is may be हमें एक प्राइमर की जरूरत होती है जिसमें हमारी जो बेस ऑफ इंटरेस्ट होता है कि जिस बेस को हम अल्टर करना चाहते हैं या म्यूटेट करना चाहते हैं वो हम इनकॉर्पोरेट कर देते हैं इन सिंथेटिक प्राइमर तो जब वो एनीलिंग होती है तो ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ एम्पलीफिकेशन द अल्टर्ड बेस इट इज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन द एम्पलीफाइड डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट सो uh, a scientist, uh, a group of scientists like Haiguchi and co-workers in uh, late 1980s, like 1988, uh, they developed a basic variation uh, of the PCR method to introduce base-specific mismatches in the uh, amplified DNA product. For this purpose, they use two primary reactions uh, for the amplification of the target DNA and the product uh, of the primary reactions they will produce a DNA fragments uh, whose ends they can hybridize because same type of primers were used in the pre two primary reactions so ke jo do pehle primary reactions the usme ek hi tarah ke primer use kiye the to unka jo DNA product hoga uh, unke jo ends jo hain ye hybridize kar sakte hain because of the use of a similar primer and jo hybridized ends hain unme at least uh, ek end may five prime end free hoga to uh, the further amplification it is carried out uh, in the next step so how we can carry out mutations by using uh, Haiguchi and co-workers uh, basic PCR technique as I told you that in this technique two primary reactions are used first one and second one and they use same primers having the same mutated base like primer A and A prime that will result in the synthesis of two fragments of DNA and in the later steps they are denatured and mixed together so mix and denaturation and annealing it is carried out because same primer it is used in the first step so the ends they may overlap with each other and at least one a primer it can be extended that is 5 prime to 3 prime direction the extension can be carried out so that during the process of amplification the mismatch bases they can introduced in the amplified DNA fragments in Haiguchi and co-workers uh, procedure here uh, four type of uh, primers were used two in the primary reaction and then two in the later reaction with three PCR steps and then with the passage of time later on uh, biologists simplified the steps so that uh, uh, now two PCR steps were used with uh, three DNA uh, primers and uh, here the product of the first reaction which can be called as a mega primers they can be used to direct the synthesis in the next step so this is the variation that is introduced by another group of biologists around 1990 so here the first reaction it resulted in the production of two fragments of the PCR that can be called as a mega primers that is used in the next step to introduce the mismatched bases so it is a mega primer method for mutagenesis now the advantage of PCR mutagenesis technique uh, it is uh, uh, very important the reason is that uh, PCR techniques they can introduce 100% mutations in the target DNA so, although its efficiency it is 100% but there may be certain limitations or disadvantages uh, like the amplified PCR products they need vector fertilization so that they can be expressed in vivo but with the passage of time techniques now available where uh, the amplified products with mismatched bases they can be transcribed in vitro 
and then they can be translated later on. Another limitation was that uh, uh, TAC polymerase fidelity, DNA fidelity was uh, uh, low and this problem has been solved by using thermostable uh, polymerases. So these are a few techniques by which we can introduce our desired mutations in target DNA and side direct mutagenesis uh, simply we can conclude that it can be carried out by side directed mutagenesis our primary extension is there and some protocols that are based on PCR they can also be uh, used for introduced our desired changes in DNA structure.